Hi there. In this module, you'll learn to analyze, predict, and control acid-base reactions. Acid-base chemistry appears in over 80% of all organic reactions and almost all biochemical processes. It's everywhere. Not understanding acid-base chemistry can lead to a failed reaction in the lab, lost material, illnesses, or solubility issues, for example with medications. Here is an example of an acid-base reaction. Benadryl is typically reacted with hydrochloric acid to make it more stable. In the Bronsted acid-base definition, the acid is the proton donor and the base is the proton acceptor. In the Lewis definition, the acid is the electron acceptor and the base is the electron donor. Both definitions identify the same species as the acid and as the base, with the Bronsted definition being narrower. Only reactions that involve a proton transfer can have acids and bases according to that definition. In this module, we focus on acid-base reactions that involve proton transfers, the Bronsted definition, but electron movement is still key to how these reactions work. That means the Lewis acid-base definition is applicable to all the reactions in this module. This module focuses on four learning outcomes, each related to one section of the on-screen graphic. You will start by mastering some skills and key concepts that are essential for the next stage, analyzing acid-base reactions. There are two main methods used to analyze acid-base chemistry, whether to identify the most acidic or basic atom in a single molecule, between molecules, or to analyze more complex acid-base reactions. You can either compare the experimentally determined pKa values of the most acidic protons, method 1, or you can compare the relative stability of two species, for example, two bases or two acids. This is method 2. With method 2, we can explain why various acids or bases are stronger than others, and why reaction equilibria proceed as they do. In principle, either method can be used in any situation, though sometimes it's easier to use one or the other. We will discuss these situations in more detail during the module. Finally, you'll learn to integrate your acid-based knowledge and skills in different contexts. For example, you'll be able to analyze the medium, solvent and pH, and control acid-base chemistry in more complex reactions. Let's begin.